In this video, I'll show you how to make a Minecraft skin on your mobile device. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And make sure you watch this guide right until the end to the full steps, because at the end of the guide as well, I'll also show you how you can go and use the skin in Minecraft Bedrock, but you can also go and use it in Minecraft Java as well. So let's go and jump straight into this guide. Firstly, you need to go and close off of Minecraft and just go onto your home screen just like so and this guide is going to work on both iOS and Android. It is important to notice that you can go and create skins inside of Minecraft but personally, we won't be doing that, I've got a different method for you in this video. Then what you need to do is go and open up a, a web browser. So in this guide I'm using Safari because that's what I have on my phone but you can use Chrome, it can be anything. Then all you want to do is go and search for a website called Minecraft Skins. So I just went and searched for Minecraft Skins and what you want to do is make sure you go to minecraftskins.com just like so, it's going to take a moment to load. Now I've got a few different options for you. So if you scroll down, as you can see, it says top Minecraft skins. And these are the skins that other people have gone and shared on this website called Minecraft skins in the skin decks. But the awesome thing about this website is, is that you can just go and use one of these skins or you can go and edit it. So let's go and tap on it just like so. And once you've tapped on it, scroll down and you can either go and immediately download it onto your phone and go and use it. Or as I said before, you can go and edit it and just go and make it so it's sort of more about you. So go and tap on edit skin like so on the bottom in the right hand side like this. And it's gonna take a moment to load and the skin editor is then going to go and appear and here it is. So you could then go and begin editing the skin and make it completely yours. However, alternatively, you can make a skin from scratch. So to do that, I'm just going to go back just like so and go back to the home page just like that. And also those controls to go and edit the skin are exactly the same as when you're creating a skin. So I'll go and explain in just a moment. So to go and create a skin from scratch, all you need to do is go and tap on the three bars in the top right like so and then go and tap on editor. And it'll take a moment if I go and tap on it. And here we are in the Minecraft skin editor. As you can see, this is the same skin, uh, which I was just editing a moment ago. So if, to go and reset it, literally all you need to do is go and tap on that option there, reset skin, so tap there. And it says, are you sure you want to go and lose all your work? There we go, we've now gone and we're back to scratch. So we can now go and start editing this. So what I recommend first doing is going and removing something called the outer layer. Basically, Minecraft skins have two layers, the inner and outer. The inner is the primary one you want to go and use. So go and tap on body and overlay and then just go and tap on outer layer and that's going to unselect it and as you can see you can then see it's no longer there. And now I just want to quickly go and explain these tools. So the first one selected is going to be the pencil, then you've got the eraser tool, then you've got something called the auto tone tool and that's really useful and I'll show you how to use that in just a moment. Then you've got the color picker, then you've got the zoom in and out, then you've got the fill bucket, then you've got undo and redo and then you can go and change the color lightness as well and they're the main ones. So then to go and get started, literally all you want to do is go and grab a tool. I'll start off with the pencil tool then scroll down and go and select the color. So you can go and use this outside ring and then get more specific using the inside one. So I'm gonna go and use a color which looks something like this and then I'm just gonna go and start drawing on it. So as you can see, I've now got the pencil tool selected. I can now start coloring in the skin. Now I want to show you the auto tone tool and this is the one with the paintbrush uh, just to the right of the pen tool after the eraser tool. And then all you need to do is start coloring it in and as you can see, it literally goes and makes different tones which is why I think it's really cool because otherwise if you just use the pencil tool it's all one set color but the tone tool makes it all customized I just think it looks really cool just like that so that looks quite messy so I'm just going to go undo this and go and go back to scratch so the first thing you probably want to do is go and select the color for your skin so I'm going to go and do like a light blue skin just to make it look something very unique and then I'm going to go and use the auto tone tool once again that's selected and then I'm going to start by removing uh, the outer layer just like that and then I'm going to start coloring this the skin in like so so here is how my skin is going as you can see it's pretty plain I'm just sort of doing this as a quick example for you guys but what's important to know is that during the process of making your skin is that you need to make sure you're doing things which look hidden so if you make sure you do things like under the head like so but also in this case you're gonna have actually missed the inside of the arms so what you need to do is go and tap on body and overlay in the top left then go and tap on the main part of the body. And as you can see, it then reveals uh, different parts that you've probably missed, for example, under the head and the sides of the arms as well. Okay, so I've now gone and done the legs, but once again, we need to go and start removing pieces of the body to make sure that we haven't missed anything. So go and tap on body and overlay just like so, and then I'm gonna go and move the main piece. And as you can see, if I zoom up, I've actually gone and missed the top of the legs. So I'm gonna make sure I've got a green selected by using the color picker and selecting the green. 
and then I'm going to go and color that piece in there. And now I've done that, I'm then going to go and press body and overlay again and go and remove one of the legs because I'll have missed one of the inside pieces, as you can see here it is. So I'm now going to go and color this piece in and then I'll do the same for the other leg as well. And then what I noticed while removing one of the legs, I've actually missed the bottom of the body. So I'm then going to go and remove both legs like so and then do the bottom of the body. So I'll go and select blue again using the color picker, then go back to the auto tone brush and go and do the bottom of the body. And another thing I've probably missed is the side of the main piece as well. So I'm going to remove both arms and as you can see, I'm going to add the the main piece again, I've actually gone and missed the side pieces. So I'm gonna go and select the blue again using the color picker and then I'm gonna go and do the sides. And there we go, I've now gone and added everything I've gone and missed. So I'm now gonna go and select all of the pieces and there we go, we've now gone and finished it. So of course you can go and add loads more um, like things to it and of course you can go and make use of the outer layer as well. So go and tap that and then you can go and add some other things to make it look 3D. So I might quickly do that now. So I'm just adding a bit of random stuff to the to the outer layer just to make it like pop a bit more. But of course you can go add things like eyes, hair and so much more as well. I'm just making this quite simple just to go and make a video for it. And finally I'm just doing the 3D layer for the legs and then I'll show you how to go and get it into Minecraft on your phone. So I've now personally finished this and what's important to know is, is you can go make further edits. I'll quickly explain how to do that. So all you want to do is scroll down this page here. So as you can see, we've got these three buttons here, upload to Skindex, download and upload from computer. So I'm gonna press download like so, then you need to go and press download and then it will be downloaded to your phone just like so. But also if you want to go make further edits, literally all you need to do is either come back to this webpage immediately, but if say in a week or um, a year you want to make edits, then, then all you need to do is come to the bottom and then you can go and press on upload from computer and you can then go and upload the image we just downloaded and make further edits to it. It's super easy. But anyways, we've now gone and downloaded it. So now what you need to do is go and open up Minecraft. And then once you've downloaded it, that should be enough if you're on an Android device because you can go and open up your file manager in Minecraft, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. But if you're on an iPhone, you need to go and save it to your Photos app. So to do that on Safari, go and tap on those two A's in the download button and then press downloads. And then here it is, as you can see, here's the skin. Go and tap on it. And then what you need to do is go and tap on the share button in the bottom left and then scroll down and then scroll down this page here and go and press save image. And this is going to go and save the image to your camera roll. Um, and then we can go and find it in Minecraft. Here we are in Minecraft. I just switched to my iPad so you can see things a bit clearer. So what you need to do is go and press on dressing room in the bottom right, just like so. Then what you need to do is come over to the left hand side and go and expand it by clicking on the three bars and press on classic skins with the cloth hanging icon. Then all you need to do is press OK because we're using classic skins. Then go and tap on this gray skin under own skins like so. And then you can go and tap on choose new skin. As you can see above choose new skin, it says input an image file from your device. So press there and your photos will open. And then choose the skin that you saved your photos. And as you can see, here it is. I'm gonna go and choose the model, which is this one on the right. And there we go. You can use either of the models. And this is the skin I just created. As you can see, that 3D effect looks really cool. And that's it. If you guys found this useful, please go down below and leave me a like. Peace.